This show, along with hundreds of others from Calaroga Shark Media, is available commercial free on any player. Just look for the link in the episode or show notes. Calaroga Shark Media. Hello and welcome to Romance Weekly. This episode is titled A Parisian Romance Rekindled, An Olympic Love Story Part 3. As dawn broke over the city of Paris, Lily found herself running along the Seine, her footsteps echoing against the cobblestone streets. The city was just beginning to wake up, and Lily relished the rare moment of peace and solitude. The sound of a distant church bell rang out, its melodic chimes carried by the gentle morning breeze. Gradually, the city came to life around her, the hum of a street sweeper, the clatter of shutters being opened, the aroma of freshly baked bread wafting from a nearby boulangerie. Lily breathed in deeply, allowing the sights, sounds and smells of Paris to wash over her. It was moments like these that reminded her why she loved this city so fiercely, why she had fought so hard to be here. As she ran, Lily's mind wandered to the events of the previous day. Her heart still ached from her conversation with Oliver, but she knew that dwelling on what could have been would only hold her back. She needed to focus on the present, on the opportunities that lay before her. With a burst of determination, Lily decided to mix things up. Instead of covering the track and field events as she had planned, she would head to the river and report on the women's kayak cross final. It was a chance to immerse herself in a new sport, to tell a different kind of story. Energized by her decision, Lily picked up her pace, her feet pounding against the pavement as she made her way back to the hotel. She had a lot of preparation to do if she wanted to be ready for the kayaking event. As she entered the hotel lobby, Lily was surprised to find Oliver standing at the front desk, engaged in a heated discussion with the receptionist. His hair was dishevelled, and he looked like he hadn't slept all night. Lily approached cautiously. Her curiosity piqued. Oliver, is everything okay? Oliver turned to face her, his eyes bloodshot and weary. Lily, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. The receptionist, a young woman with a sympathetic smile, chimed in. Monsieur Oliver seems to have misplaced his camera bag. We've been trying to locate it, but so far, no luck. Lily's brow furrowed with concern. Your camera bag? The one with all your equipment? Oliver nodded, his shoulders slumped in defeat. I must have left it somewhere last night. I've been retracing my steps, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Lily's heart went out to him. She knew how much his camera meant to him, how it was more than just a tool of his trade. It was an extension of his very being. Let me help you look, she offered, placing a comforting hand on his arm. Two sets of eyes are better than one. Oliver looked at her, a flicker of hope in his eyes. You do that, even after everything I said yesterday. Lily smiled softly. Of course, just because we're not together doesn't mean I don't care about you. You're still my friend, Oliver. Together they set out to search for the missing camera bag. They retraced Oliver's steps from the previous night, checking every cafe, every street corner, every bench where he might have set it down. As they walked, they fell into an easy conversation, the tension from the previous day slowly dissipating. Oliver told Lily about the project he was working on, a photo essay about the unsung heroes of the games, the volunteers, the support staff, the everyday people who made the event possible. Lily listened intently, marveling at the passion in Oliver's voice. That sounds incredible, Oliver. I can't wait to see the finished product. Oliver smiled, a genuine smile that reached his eyes. Thanks, Lily. That means a lot, coming from you. Just as they were about to give up hope, Lily spotted a familiar-looking bag tucked behind a bench near the river. Oliver, look! Is that it? Oliver rushed over, 
his face breaking into a grin as he confirmed that it was indeed his missing camera bag. Lily, you're a lifesaver. I don't know what I would have done without you. Lily grinned, a mischievous glint in her eye. Well, for starters, you wouldn't have gotten any more of those amazing action shots you're so famous for. Oliver laughed, the sound warm and rich. True, but I also wouldn't have gotten to spend the morning with you. And that, Lily, is worth more than any photograph. Lily felt a blush creep up her cheeks, but she couldn't help the smile that tugged at her lips. Flattery will get you everywhere, Oliver. As they made their way back to the hotel, Lily filled Oliver in on her plan to cover the kayaking event. I think it's going to be a great story. These women have trained so hard, overcome so much to be here. Oliver nodded, his eyes sparkling with admiration. You're going to do an amazing job, Lily. You always do. Lily bumped his shoulder playfully. You're not so bad yourself, mister. Just don't forget about us little people when you're famous. Oliver chuckled, shaking his head. Never. You're unforgettable, Lily. As they entered the hotel lobby, Lily suddenly realised how she must look after her morning run. Well, I could really use a shower. You caught me as I was getting back from a run. Oliver's face changed subtly, a hint of mischief in his eyes as he seemed to entertain the thought of Lily in the shower. Lily noticed the look, a mix of attraction and longing, but neither of them said anything. The moment hung between them, charged with unspoken desires and possibilities. Lily cleared her throat, breaking the tension. Anyway, I should probably head up and get ready. Lots to do before the kayaking event. Oliver nodded, his voice slightly hoarse. Right, of course. I should probably do the same. Lots of photos to take, stories to capture. They lingered for a moment longer, their eyes locked in a silent conversation. The connection between them was palpable, but so were the barriers they had erected, the wounds of the past, the uncertainties of the future. Finally, Lily tore her gaze away, heading towards the elevators. I'll see you around, Oliver. Good luck today. Oliver watched her go, his heart heavy with the weight of what could have been. You too, Lily. Knock em dead. Back in her room, Lily leaned against the door, her heart racing. The moment with Oliver had thrown her off balance, reminding her of the feelings she had tried so hard to suppress. She shook her head, forcing herself to focus on the task at hand. She had a job to do, a story to tell, and she wouldn't let anything, not even her complicated feelings for Oliver, stand in her way. With a deep breath, Lily headed to the shower, ready to wash away the sweat and the confusion. She had a big day ahead of her, and she needed to be at her best. As the warm water cascaded over her, Lily let her mind wander. She thought of Oliver, of the connection they shared, of the obstacles that stood between them. But she also thought of the kayakers she would be covering, of their dedication and resilience in the face of adversity. In that moment, Lily made a decision. She would take a page from the athlete's book. She would face her challenges head on with courage and determination. And she would do it all while chasing her dreams and telling the stories that mattered. Lily stepped out of the shower, ready to take on the world. The games and her own heart wouldn't know what hit them. The sun was high in the sky as Lily arrived at the kayaking venue. The excitement of the crowd palpable. She took a deep breath, readying herself for the task ahead. It was time to show the world what she was made of. And with a smile on her face and a spring in her step, Lily dove in, ready to capture the magic of the moment. Romance Weekly is a production of Calaroga Shark Media. Executive producers Mark Francis and John McDermott. Portions of this podcast may have been created with the assistance of AI. Calaroga Shark Media 